Had a prednisone lawyer reach out wondering, how much calcium and chromium should I take while on prednisone? Specifically, he said, how much calcium and chromium supplements would be advisable while taking 10 milligrams of prednisone? This is a great question because it shows that he's aware that prednisone is stealing nutrients from the body. Most people taking prednisone aren't aware of this and have no idea to even ask the question. So this is really important. And I wish everyone knew. Everyone should know because the doctors who prescribe prednisone the most created a guideline. It's called the American College of Rheumatology Guideline on the Glucocorticoid-Induced Osteoporosis. They specifically said, and I quote, we recommend that in patients starting on long-term glucocorticoid therapy of 2.5 milligrams a day or more for at least three months, the calcium and vitamin D intakes should be optimized. For calcium, that's 1,000 to 1,200 milligrams a day. And for vitamin D, that's 600 to 800 international units a day. And so they do not want you getting osteoporosis from prednisone. They don't want you breaking your bones, breaking your hip, breaking your wrist, or losing height, like having your compression fractures in your spine so that you shrink in height. Nobody wants that for you, especially not your doctor. And so they definitely want you taking calcium and vitamin D at the minimum. So this person also was aware of chromium. And chromium, they didn't come out with a guideline for that. But for chromium, there is a study, it's 25 years old, and it shows that if you take chromium picolinate, 200 micrograms, that it can reverse the diabetes caused by prednisone. The prednisone is a glucocorticoid. It is a glucocorticoid, meaning it's affecting your glucose metabolism. Glucose meaning sugar, your high blood glucose is caused by the prednisone changing your metabolism. And one of the ways it's causing that high blood glucose is by causing you to pee out chromium. They've tested people's urine who've taken prednisone and it shows way higher levels of this vital metal mineral chromium than normal people. Your body is actively excreting chromium. And so if you don't want to have that high blood glucose, which can lead to diabetes, which can lead to many complications and weight gain and fat redistribution and on and on, then you need to replenish that chromium. And so you need to use the specific kind that they used in that study called chromium picolinate. And so you want 200 micrograms to make it really easy for you and to minimize the amount of pills you have to take and all of the other nutrients that we haven't even mentioned this far. There are a lot of nutrients that prednisone is stealing and that's what's causing side effects. So if we replenish those nutrients, you won't feel so awful and you can minimize your risk for complications. So if we replenish the nutrient depletion, you can minimize your side effects. So what you do is you take neutronized zone. I included exactly 200 micrograms of chromium picolinate in the morning and in the bedtime bottle. I have a total of 1000 milligrams of calcium in the combination. If you take the full dose of two capsules in the morning and two capsules at bedtime, it's going to reach exactly what you're supposed to reach to meet the guideline that the rheumatologist created. And so it's not just those two ingredients, it's also the vitamin D they recommended and 17 total so that you can replenish the nutrients you need and feel like yourself again while in prednisone. All you have to do is take two in the morning and two at bedtime, two in the morning along with your daily dose of prednisone, and then go to Nutranize.com, N-U-T-R-A-N-I-Z-E.com to get it for yourself today. And how long do you want to take it? You're going to want to take it at least three months after your last dose of prednisone, because not only do you need to build back up that bone loss that is happening from the prednisone, but you also need to give your immune system a chance to recover. Prednisone is affecting every single immune cell type, and it's basically killing off a lot of them. That's how it's helping people with autoimmune diseases. And so you need to give it time to build back up your immune system. And this has ingredients in it to support your immune system. So just go to Neutronize.com to get the support you need and get the exact amount of calcium and chromium that you need while on prednisone and recovering from prednisone. Signing off as Dr. Megan, your prednisone pharmacist.